Hello and welcome again. This is Robert Schein, Managing Director and Partner of Blanky Shine Wealth Management. Today is October 15th. It's a Thursday of 2020 and we're going to get into the headlines, what markets are paying attention to, what really matters as we're paying attention to that and as we manage portfolios for our clients here at Blanky Shine Wealth Management. So thanks for watching and let's get right to it. So the last couple of days, if not weeks, and I would venture a guess months, we've seen some volatility directly related to uh, the extension of benefits, unemployment benefits, uh, or the lack thereof, if you will, as the CARES 2.0 Act in Congress has ultimately failed to act at this moment in time. I refer to it as mom and dad SNL, mom and dad savings and loan, and you have fiscal and monetary policy working together. Well, one of the two parties, let's call it monetary policy by the Federal Reserve, has stood fast and has communicated clearly that they're going to do everything, and they said everything in terms of the kitchen sink, to ensure that the economy is on solid footing and has the liquidity that they need to support their dual mandate, which is inflation uh, uh, controls, as well as employment. And employment news just came out today. Continuing claims can persist to slow, if you will. They're, they're bouncing back a little higher. That is really uh, disappointing news, if you will, with the market, because we're at that, that moment in time where Congress has had, gosh, since July 31st, still to this day, October 15th, to ultimately play this game of Lucy and the football, put the football out, let Charlie Brown try and go get it, and ultimately pull the football back. You know, both sides have been actually playing this and ultimately for their political favor. Well, who is losing? The U.S. economy and the U.S. worker, if you will. The unemployment needs in certain sectors needs to be extended in certain sectors of the economy need help. Think the travel industry, the restaurant industry, uh, small businesses. This is not a laughing matter. This is uh, ultimately the, the wake of the dirty disaster of COVID, what we're seeing economically speaking. So one, one of two things has to happen. Ultimately, either the economy has to reopen, and that's ultimately not gonna happen anytime soon with a full reopening, or fiscal, so Congress is gonna have to open up their checkbooks. We're gonna have to have another round of stimulus, if you will, and checks in those places that need it. And so we're talking about what we're gonna see in my first topic that you saw, which is sugar highs and tantrums. And so as a father of four and having you know, my wife and I have kids when they were super young, we knew that, you know, you take them away from a, book, uh, a birthday party and they've had so much sugar, you bring them home and they have a tantrum because they're tired, they're exhausted, they're, they're just pulling tantrums. The, the financial markets act much in the same way as our two-year-old. You give them too much sugar, i.e. too much stimulus, and then you pull it away or you have to basically say, no, no more, and then there's tantrums or you disappoint them and say, yeah, definitely no more. You're seeing markets, financial markets sell off. It's no different. So we saw you know, everything in the last 48 hours from signaling that you know, uh, the White House wants a bigger uh, stimulus package and then Congress says, no, we're not gonna do it. Uh, and then vice versa. So it's Lucy and the football. It's a sugar high in tantrums. It's mom and dad uh, savings and loan. This is just nonsense. The reality is the real economy is still disconnected and they, the certain sectors of the economy and employment need help. So we're gonna have to pay attention for that because that's gonna persist. On the other side of that here in the wealth management space, Again, this is not uncommon. This has happened through the history in the last 25, 30 years, and even years before that, where everything I just described is the uncertainty that creates volatility, that creates opportunity. So we welcome cash. We sit with cash. Cash is wonderful here. Uh, and then we deploy it into those businesses that will live in lo long, long after coronavirus and look long into the future because it's well managed in a position to take advantage of market share and opportunity going forward, even though we're all in this suspended animation of waiting for a vaccine or waiting for coronavirus or waiting and waiting and waiting. The reality is that the markets don't wait and companies don't wait. So we see cash is a tremendous opportunity. If you watched my daily video yesterday, I, if you did, if you missed it, go watch it. Because ultimately, banks are paying you zero in your money. We here at Blanky Shine Wealth Management are taking advantage of the temper tantrums that play out, and it's going to persist with the uncertainty, especially in the next couple of weeks of the election. Uh, great opportunities are going to come our way, and we're looking forward to that as we look at portfolios going forward. 
So that's our market update for today. Thanks for watching. Again, like, subscribe, and share with anybody. We have a lot of great feedback from friends and family. They are um, subscribing and they're also sharing with friends. So if you have somebody, just shoot us their email. We'll ask, um, we'll put them on our distribution list. And as it's growing tremendously, we appreciate all that support. Take care. Have a great day.